Ah, okay. So, we finally made it to Baldur's Gate. Ah. Oh, camp? Oh, shit, like, yeah, whatever. Wait, no, 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 no. I can just do this. <laughs> Safe's coming within the first minute of recording. Is he mad? Okay, yes, Slick. That won't help you. At all. Ever. Hmm, what does command do anyway? This spell enables the priest to command another creature to die. Sleep. For a single round. At the end of the round, the creature awakens and is unharmed. The creature with six or more hit dice or experience levels. Okay, that sucks. Uh, remove fear. Yeah, I move here. I that that could be doom. This spell causes the f the fe This spell causes the feeling of doom to overwhelm the targets. For the duration of the spell, the target receives a minus two penalty to all his rolls. This includes Thacko and saving throws. There's no saving throw for this spell. Multiple castings of the spell are not cumulative. Okay. Hold, per hold person. Yeah, that doesn't seem that useful. Spiritual hammer. It doesn't seem that useful. Up on holy might. Eh, I hope that might be useful. Blade. Yeah, let's give him one silence. Aid. Yeah, let's do that. Deep. Let's cast magic. Oh, I could have used that on the boss but just a little while ago. Damn. Move paralysis. Move curse. Holy smite! This spell calls upon the energy of from the plane of brilliance in order to channel a in order uh, to open a channel between it and the targets. The result is that any evil creature within the spell's effect takes one through four damage for every level of the caster, with a save versus spell for half. Also, if the victim fall, uh, fails to save, then he is blinded. For one round. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a shot. That actually seems pretty useful. One spell. Sweet. Okay, let's actually explore out here first. Or can I not explore out here? Oh, okay, never mind. There, there's, there's something over here. There's an actual landmass here. Holy shit! There's proper shading on the uh, on the water. <laughs> it isn't an advanced shading like uh, in these newer games, but eh, it looks nice. It looks aged. Oh, sh Really? Okay, that should de-aggro it. Hopefully. None come this way, armed as you are. If those are... If... It was those hor... Oh. It was those horrible fishermen that hired you, wasn't it? It's true, they sent me to end your villainous deeds. As cowardly as they are treacherous, hiring others to do their, what they could not. Did I just shut it into all this? Please ease Christ. Oh shit, no. Well, why do you do this? Don't you know what they've done? Sooner, uh, sooner than the others, they are the evil ones. They killed my mother, and now you help them? Shirley did her duty, collecting the offerings from those who would use the sea. They... 
They stole her elemental summoning bowl and tortured her, her for words that make it work. Now they all misuse a gift of Umbra Lee to pillage the seas, and my mother's spirit can't rest until it's returned. I have more power than my mother had. Umbra Lee gave me her anger, but I can't find the ball. All I can do is hurt them till they give it back or die. But I'm so tired. But I have mother's will, and the goddess is so demanding. Hmm. Well, well, the chat is saying it's a child, so... Okay, I shall help as best I can. Oh, thank you. The sea queen may yet be satisfied with the return of the ball, but... But one way or another, Suna's group must no longer profit from... at her expense. It is probably being hidden in a shrine to another god. I don't know where the shrine is, and couldn't go near it if, even if I did. But Suna may tell you, if you ask him with a blade. Now go for Amberly. is seldom patient, and you are not yet on our good side. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, screw you, game. If I... <sighs> okay, just continue walking. Maybe it'll eventually just tire itself out. Apparently I... Fine. Hopefully, hopefully it'll just diago and go back to another spot where I don't have to deal with it for right now. Because I don't want to deal with it until I know where I can sell the freaking things. That was a lot of words in the line. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, hello. This is this should be an easy fight. Yep, easy. Oh, badly injured. My question is, why are though? They're, yeah, they're wild dogs, but tamed dogs. <laughs> Go this. Uh, oh yeah, Pff. duh. Go here, then I can go around and not have to deal with enemies. There we go. Excellent. All right. So they. Sh oh shit! What the hell? Bandits. Garrick, you jerk. Get back here and assist me. What was with that thief, though? Weird. Back, I see. Have you done it? Have you killed the bitch? Uh eh, screw it. This priest had much to say about the group of you. She knows we sent you. Damn, she'll kill us all. Hold your tongue, Telman. Now I warned you she was treacherous. You've got you've got and believed her lies, haven't you? What did uh, she say? That we stole some ball or something? Seems pretty shallow she used to kill us over don't don't it? Now, if I said before, we are but poor fishermen. But what if we toss in another hundred gold? Will that change your mind? The child said that he killed her mother and gave and have been taking far too much from the seas. I don't like being used sooner. It makes me angry. Well, that's it then. The jig's up, isn't it? The bitch priest wasn't talking 
taken tribute from us for years. The, pr the price just kept climbing, and you can't sail without appeasing Umbrelli, the clerk of Talos and Baldur's Gate said. Suffice to say, she made arrangements for our safe passage at sea. Part of the deal was our little payback as well. So you see, we're all pawns within the friendly rivalry of gods. You had best tread carefully lest you step on some pretty powerful toes. Give me both the balls sooner. I'll not take. I'll not ask so nicely a second time. I suppose I have a little choice then. I've had it with. I've had it on me the entire time. We felt it was safest that way. Take it. We know that. What the Stormlord knows. Take it, but know that the Stormlord knows who it is that opposes him. You've got what you came for. Now get out of here. I should stay well away from any Talos shrine if I were you. Control thing, these gods. Oh. Wait, yes, look. Oh, shit! Okay! Well. That was pretty pathetic. Wait. Sit. Bandit snip? Oh, he's running like the bitch he is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Ooh, nice. Bandit scalp. Life is what is the point. But as you will. Okay, let's just destroy them all. I accidentally closed it. Come on. Come on, fellas, go in. <laughs> Wow, they really just don't want to fight. <laughs> that was sort of sad. That was sort of sad. Ooh! Okay. Enchanted flail, let's see. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Um... Okay. okay. Let's get out of here. Before we aggro anything else. Hmm. Ooh, fancy ball. This magical ball holds great power in that it grants the owner a certain degree of control over magical creatures known as water elementals. As is the case with all elemental forces, this control can be turned towards either good or evil, law or chaos. One would therefore be well advised to use the cr discretion when dealing with any such creature. Oh wait, let's uh side of us protecting from all forms of petrification. Ooh. Oh, hell out. Let's give this to him instead. Uh, potion of healing, potion of magic block. Nope. Potion of fire breath. Oh hell yeah, that sounds some like something Zan uh, would be able to use. Uh, explosion. Oh, 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 oh. That also sounds like something for Zan. No, oh, I'm just gonna do the irony part of it. Oil of speed. This oddly murky, uh, this oddly murky oil would appear to increase the movement speed rate of, and combat capabilities of the imbiber. Movement rate is doubled, and the user gains one extra attack per round. Thus, a movement rate of nine becomes eighteen. Oh God! What's his movement speed right now? Oh, 
Why did the game switch to that? Wait. Holy shit, they kept moving! Holy shit, um... Rest until healed. And then... Do some... Jer do some jerk things while... While, uh... We have the ball. Oh, can I actually... Nope. Can't. Damn. Well, that's a little disappointing. There we go. Slowly but surely, we remove the fog of war. The entrance tax is six gold for each party of travelers. Please, no please announce your point of origin. Number four, the mystic land of frolicking naked nymphs, where, you all, where your heart's desire is granted by bald, blubbering bear bugs. <laughs> oh God! Oh, what the hell! Uh, cattle keep. You'll have to wait here. My commander wishes to have a word with you. First off, let me introduce myself. I'm Scar, second in command of the Flame and Fist. Though it is not necessary for you to reveal your names, please answer me this. Are you the group that was involved in the fiasco in Noshkill Mines? Uh, we helped them. Well, I'll have to say... You made quite a commotion up here in Baldur's Gate. I can't really put my finger on a single source, but there have been many strange happenings going on within the city. It's been getting harder and harder for me to put trust in someone. I need outsiders to do some investigations. People with no connection to anyone within the city. Would you be interested in working for me in such a capacity? Uh, sure. If it pays well. Alright then, what I am about to tell you must be held in the strictest confidence. Do you understand? I need you to begin an investigation on the Seven Suns trading coaster. The Seven Suns leadership has been acting strangely as of late. They've been selling off valuable assets and neglecting many of their more profitable trading ventures considering the importance of that trading co um, coaster, holds over the economy of the city, the Grand Duke are noticeably upset. I've... I've gone to talk to the coaster's head, Jassol. He rudely de rebuffed me, telling me to mind my own business. I've known Jasso for many years, and this isn't his usual behavior. I can't stand up an off on a, I can't start up an official investigation, as there's no real reason for doing so. That's why I need you. We're ready to start, but there's something you need to know first. We think that the Iron Throne may be behind recent events along the coast, as at the mines of Nashkill and the cloak and the in the Cloakwood. We've learned much about the goal and methods of the Iron Throne, and it doesn't bode well for the future of this region. Well, that sheds new light on things. There's nothing I can do about it now, but I'll make sure to look into it. I want you to break up, uh, to break into the Seven Sons combat and find what's wrong. Use stealth in your investigation. I want those. I don't want this operation to cause too much fuss. The most important person to watch is. For, for is just so. Once you've found out as much as possible, report back to me at the Flaming Fist compound. I'll pay you 2,000 gold for this favor. The estate is located on the southwest side of town. I wish all of you the best of luck. Remember, you're, d you're done with the Seven Sons estate. It's imperative that you meet with the Flaming Fist barracks. 
which are just west of the Seven Suns. Okay. Um, I get the... Yeah. Yeah, there's something that happens over here that I want to be careful with. I don't remember what, but... Hey. Ooh, hello. Hey-ho, Traveler! Uh, hey-ho, Traveler. You look like... You look to be wandering, uh... Wanderers of the adventuring sort. Tell me, what direction calls you? Uh... South for time, though this may change. Ah... Uh, my lotus friends, that is my direction too. Fate has crossed our paths, and we could all benefit by traveling together. It will be the classic pairing of you, the stalwart adventurer, and I, the intelligent one. How can you refuse? Uh, how can I refuse? Watch me take a hike. I should have guessed by your knuckle-dragging great and muscle, muscular nose. Uh, sorry. And minuscule nose. You're a complete and utter moron, aren't you? Hmm. It's over here anyway. Chicken. Ooh, hang on, what's over here? Ooh! Olgarth's beard. <sighs> I'm sorry, that just makes me think of the freaking Nord in the Lion's Arch in Guild Wars 2. By Octon's beard! What savings! Eh, doesn't seem to be anything here. That's disappointing. Okay, shall we do some evil then? Let's make a merchant's life a living hell or something. I don't know. Good day to the young one. Uh, hang on, hang on. Um, good day to you, young one. What a marvelous happenance that we should again cross paths, especially in such grand a city as this. Ah, I see by thine eyes that you've no time with my banter. Tis true, our meetings, our meeting was no accident. Though I do honestly take pleasure in seeing you again. It's good to see you again. What brings you here? Oh, all citizens of the Soda Coast eventually pass through Baldur's Gate. And I knew thou would, wouldst eventually... Thou would as well. Forgive my continued meddling, but I believe it is warranted. Especially considering the pressure thou art no doubt confronting... My pestering of thee certainly pales in comparison to the influence thou hast felt from others, including thine own self. Grian raised thee as best he could, but tis hard indeed to overcome what is bred in the bone. Much more so is this case, I would imagine. Um, okay. Uh, so... Uh, so what is it you wish of me? I was about to ask the same question of thee! Those come quite far, and though my answers are often less than obvious, I do hope they would, they help a little. Grian often, often uh, chid, 
chidded me for my obliqueness, though he was fond of a little verbal hide-and-seek as well. Hmm. Okay. Can you tell me of Gorion? What can you tell me of Gorion? It seems I knew very little of him. He was a long... He was long, my friend, and we talked often, though less after he settled down with V. He was quite a traveler in his day, though he never regretted his new role as a foster father. He felt a stable childhood would better prepare thee for, for well, the problem that would eventually come. He cared deeply for thee. I hope this was not lost on you. He was a good man, though I prefer to walk my own path. I was not suggesting that thou should do otherwise. Whatever the motive, independence is always a wise course to follow. My worry is that thy lineage is harder to escape than most. Thou of bad blood in thee, the Gryon did what he could to teach thee well and true. Thou of hu um, hungry blood within thee as well, and it will not let thee go without a fight. For a better or worse, what bre what's bred in the bone will deal, will be dealt with in time. I trust you've the will to face what is within thee. I know a little of what is to come, but I will do what is best. I am sure the future will be kind to thee, for now I will give thee my best wishes and a few names that will serve thee well. Scar of the Flaming Fist, who you just met, is a good man and well worth trusting. His superior, Duke Eltan, is also a good sort. Both are to be believed when they speak. I take my leave and wish thee well. Uh, again, Elspire has made an appearance, though he was a little more forthcoming with information this time. He apparently knew Gryon well, and uh, though him a good man to care for me. He also spoke of bad blood and a taint that will come, uh, well, that will consume me if care is not taken. What this means, I'm not sure. I will heed his warning, though. A little time to dwell on it. He did give me some names, though of people he feels are chestnuts. Scar, the Flaming Fist, Duke L10. I suppose I can believe them if Elmister himself does so recommend. As you will. Oh, hello. Look at him. So, yeah. Interesting. As you will. Lucky hello. Hello, folks. Welcome to Lucky Ellos, where the prices are so low, there's got to be something wrong. Nobody sells it lower than me, because nobody buys it cheaper. If you can find a price lower than mine, this side of Kalsman, Han, the item will probably kill you. What can I do for you? They've got the cheapest goods around. Let's have a look. This scroll. Okay, he, he just sells scrolls. <laughs> actually, I, I want to I wanna actually try this. Hang on. Um, save, override. Deal. Hmm. Scroll of stupidity. This scroll is cursed. It would be unwise to read it, as the effects could prove. Wait, what? Really? Find a move. Ooh. 
Wait, what? Okay, so does that actually lower my... Uh, this is style bonus plus adjustment two. Uh, where where is reputation fourteen? Okay, let's save again. Let's just save scum until I've got a good number of antidote po uh, not antidote potions. Uh, perception. Why did that close it? Ooh. Wait, that just brought my gold up. Interesting. So... What gives her the bonus to stealing? Well, whatever. I've now got four potions of perception. This potion heightens the sensory perception of the drinker, allowing dedicated, um, delicate tasks to be performed better. The effect is to make certain thieving skills more likely to succeed. Multiple uses of this potion will not result in its effect being multiplied. So I move traps, pickpockets, pick locks, hidden shadows. Six hours! Damn, that's actually pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Okay, let's uh wait. Oh. Can I actually wait what? Uh changing tactics can often make an impossible battle merely challenging. Explore all all options. Okay. Oh, I can't sell it to him. Damn. My are the best okay, why? Why does it do that? Why does it keep doing that? Oh. Oh, okay. I think I get it. Because it fails, and thus, if I go outside, well, it, the guards, no, there, there are no guards. Okay, that's interesting. Is there an entrance here? Oh, hello. Shop of Silence. Excellent. Hello. Lock yourself slowly in, and keep your arms to your side. This is no inn, and you get no smiling welcome. I expect payment for your safekeeping, and you pay by the day, and by the head. The risk I take harboring you low-grade hooligans is simply not worth it. Uh, sorry, we can't pay. You, you've not the coin. I don't run a charity here. I got till I get my muscle to be gone. After that, you'll hit the brick a bit harder. Okay, I don't know what that was all about. Curtison. Okay. Oh, okay. Hookers. You can press H to hide your... Okay, so... Hmm. How do I lower my reputation? Hey, you be fighters and mages and monster killers all... Be yeah. Let me find out. 
fighters. We may not all be fighters, we may not all be mages, but half but each of us has a monster's death throws to our name. What well, you ask? The roads be lined with bandits of every ilk and description. But the most fearsome of them monsters, hobgoblins, do, do us all a favor and place a blade into their guts. Pfft. I've done that, that quite a few times. Commoner Breckville. Might I have a moment of your, uh, time? Oh, this is exactly exciting, isn't it? Oh, wait, you wouldn't think so. You're probably used to it. Oh, yes, well, um, you, you, uh, how do I approach this? You are, uh, for hire. I mean, uh, I need a job done. Get my intent? A job done. Strictly hush hush. I believe you would say. Speak your mind, sir, so I might, so I might know your meaning. I would like you to pr you to procure your talents for a, a unique service, though it's not like you would have to do anything socially untoward. Well, perhaps a bit, though not much untoward, as uh, illegal. Uh, I'm listening, though my ears aren't so good lately. Perhaps I, sh perhaps I should test them with the rattle of coins. Oh, of course, a bit of coin to jog your memory. It's just as I imagined. Oh, this is so nutty. And um, here, mate, uh, five gold get your attention here. Huh? Well, go, huh? What's not for me to take such a risk? So it's a point, as, and as serious as the subject demands. Certainly, you are the cream of the, the legionist crop for retrieving but one object. I will give you 500, no killing, and only one item to be taken. Dashing banter tree, just like the songs of bards. Okay, I'm sort of suspicious of this guy. You can stop trying to sell me. I'm interested. Just tell me what the actual job is and why you're willing to take such a risk. Oh shit, that is a... that is a big wall. Uh, you know what, I normally do a voice, but... No. I'm not doing that voice for that wall of text. Oh, it's more of a trinket. A wondrous, curious little toy from a distant land. What do they call it? Oh yes, a telescope. For all things, it's a misleading name for such an interestingly crafted artifact. Gold Extra Farseer. Golden Extra Farseer would have suited the craftsmanship so much better. <laughs> there is not another like it in this side of the trackless sea, and, and others I know of are as big as elephants. You can steal one without an elephant to haul it. Most gnomes have a fixation of sorts, but I don't share the love of gems that possess my kin. I prefer the feel of metal and the intricates of, me uh, of the mechanical. Not that I necessarily understand the function, but it's not right for such an item to be locked away, regardless. It was meant to be used and to be held by loving hands, and for those hands just happen to be mine. More and better... The tele thingy is on display at the Hall of Wonders, and were it in the possession of anyone else, it might be purchasable. No doubt you know what the Hall of Wonders is, an extension of the High House and Temple of Gond. Believe the God of Artif uh, Artifice and Invitation. And Invitation. Invent. Inventation. His followers take to revering mechanical devices, and will not part with an original at any price. It's not as though they make proper use of such things, keeping them behind locked doors where loving hands can't explore their subtleties. 
The temple what's it was made to be used, not worshipped. It must be in the hands of someone who can truly appreciate it. Not the immodest, but the but that someone is me. I suppose it might be a replica, but would you wish to copy a diamond? It's just not the same. Uh, wait, did he say 500? That's the point. Wait. 500? Okay. That certainly was a difficult task you've set before me. You 1D little man. But I'll accept you the challenge. Oh, wonderful. Oh, this is so bad of me. Um, well, I shall leave you to your preparations. I will constantly... It will certainly be a test of your metal. Entering the hall, I imagine. An ex experienced, robust... Such as yourself will case the joint thoroughly, eh? Get the guards scheduled down and all that. Oh, if only I could be that part of it. It's thrilling, like the song of legend. I'll meet you back here once the burglary is announced. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay, so I just have to find this Hall of Wonders thing. Wait, eh, screw it. Once. Uh, Hall of... Ah, really? Really, Zan? Really? Really? Hall of Wonders is building the west area of Baldur's Gate and serves as Okay, west area. So, one, two, three. Let's go there. So, it might actually be faster. Seeing as how... It looks like there's only... Wait, are there only... Oh, okay, it's... But even. Oh, uh, sundries. Ooh, I can actually buy some spells, maybe. Right. So. And who might you be then? <laughs> Come to check on the wares of all help. Hal Blazer, well, be quick about it. And mind, you don't get fidgety when we talk payment. You knew when you came through the door that my words were magical. Premium items demand premium prices. Let's see what you have then. Red armor. Ooh, battle axe. That looks nice. Uh, long sword. Okay, it doesn't seem like he has anything that great. That great. Oh, oh. Protection of I wonder. Oh! Zan can learn these. Excellent. Ooh, hello. Wands, too, apparently. Spirit armor. Resilient sphere. Ah. Greater Maelstrom. This power allows the caster to adversely affect all the saving throws of his enemies. Through display to all hostile creatures within the area of effect. But once under the influence of this spell, make all. Ooh, that actually sounds useful. Yeah, let's sell the flails. <sighs> okay, so, Greater Maelstrom. Monster summoning? Wait. This one looks like the third level su monster summoning sp cast time for. Okay. Globe of. Minor globe of. Oh wow, that is expensive. F Ooh, fireball. Mm, no. Wait. Why does it say that? Not asking. That felt weird. 
Magic, Six and Eight. Ah, wary adventurers. The roads of this fair city are lined with fools, are they not? And two of the greatest are Arcan and Nymphir. Necromancers fighting over trinkets and baubles of little use or value. I assure you, they are more trouble than they are worth. You're better off steering clear of them. Okay, so steer clear of Arkyan and Nymphir. Two people I have not met before. At least I don't think I've met before. Would be very awkward if I had met them before. Oh. Okay, that's... Huh. That, I thought I already had level 4 spells unlocked. Well, that's sad. Oh well. I got preparations! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go through this way. Because I remember a roadblock. I don't remember where. But somewhere in the city, there's a roadblock that keeps me from going uh, clockwise. I wanna try to send. Well, sir, I sorry I did not mean to walk in on you while you were doing that, or getting that done to you. Uh, okay, what is it? First, let me introduce the two of us. I'm Marquis, and this is my companion, Lot Hander. I thought it would be nice for you to know our names, because if you don't take it, our advice, you'll be seeing more of us, too. I know you've been taking an active interest in destroying the Iron Throne. Don't try to deny it. My companion and I are in deployment of the aforementioned throne. We thought it would be polite to give you one last warning. Stop interfering with our employer's business! You can decide to disregard this warning, but if you do, it'll be the last decision you ever make. See you later. Make all the threats you want. You're the one with... You're... We aren't the ones with one foot in the grave. If anyone's stupid enough to get in our way, in our way, who will pay the piper? Wait, what? Why did I see? There's a staircase icon. Oh, sewers. Okay. It's in, oh, lovely! That that freaking wall. This is some guy's house. Okay, so they just went into here. Let's see what's in here then. Show me a pretty bit of gold and we can have anything in the store. Look at the gold, but do you have anything I need? Okay. You ain't got nothing I need. Boy! Boy! I said boy! You're advertising something you ain't got. That there is false advertising, boy. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Got coming, pal. This is you this is the mer this is Merchant League property, and I be the guard. The door is closed for a reason. You trespass without invitation, so be criminals now. I seek my blink dogs on you, and they'll eat you tonight. Oh, ser seriously? Okay, this is this is annoying. Whatever. 
you know what? Let's just do this. Oh shit, I just realized. I haven't saved in a while. Shit. <laughs> okay, I, that was actually pretty useful. Wait, if I... Alright, this... That's annoying. Blink Dogs. That's an interesting name for a pet. <laughs> okay, let's... Aggro some more of them. <laughs> when that happens, I get very suspicious. He could have just been like, Hey, this is private property. Please leave. But no, he his response was, Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. Now you die. Thus, I am forced to believe perhaps something suspicious is going on here. Ow! Okay, you know what? Walk outside. And if they follow me... Yep, go figure. <sighs> okay. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Wait, did that lower my reputation? Sort of hoping so. Uh, no. It doesn't. That's disappointing. Ooh, yes, the leveled up. Sweet. Does he get anything? He doesn't get anything. Level up results, death throw, one throw, spell throw, reduce, attack reduced by one, additional up once again, seven. Okay, that was, that was actually pretty useful. That is a freak looking plant. Through the drow. History of the bell in the depths. Gold? I'll always be happy with getting gold. Yeah. Other than that, not much useful here. Okay, this place is pretty empty. Is 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 just his job to guard no one? That's a pretty dep depressing job now, ain't it? Do spells? <laughs> Damn, yes, look, man. Okay, yeah, she has the increased space. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm sick. Wow, that looks trippy and, uh, on screen, on stream. Sorry. As you will. Okay, so apparently I can't go that way. Mm. Ow. Chaos. Okay. Me spell. Ooh. Oh, hang on. What level is chaos? Ooh. Wait, what? 
Oh shit, it's a level five. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Damn. Okay, apparently my memory was wrong. But hey, it's been a few months since I attempted this game. Since I last attempted this game. And yeah. I wasn't really here for that long anyway. Hang on. If I hold... No! It doesn't show up. Weird. Hey! Okay, I just clicked you because you had a name. Hey! You're a fine group of mercenaries, are you? Less than... Uh, leastwise. That's the word on the street. What you do, the odd jobs in the, here and there? I have a boss who'd like to have a word with you if you can't spare the time. He don't ask for he don't ask for free though. He's fifty gold just to hear him out. Okay, fifty gold's a fair deal. We'll hurry out. Last well, trust action. Then just follow me and I'll show you the way to the guild. If you're asked the password, it's Fafford. When you're in the guild, just look for a man named Altos. Okay. Why do I get the feeling this is a trap? Likely because it is. Uh, fellas, there we go. <laughs> you there? What are you doing in this place? You better get out of here, unless the the unless of course you want to know the password. Uh, password? Why would I need a password? Uh, yeah, I know the password. Well, if you know the password, then spill it. Fafder. That's right, fella. You can go in now. Pfft. What sort of password is that? It 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 sounds like gibberish. Fafter. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Rogue, rogue. Rogue. Rizar. Oh, Altos. No need for hostilities. I simply must apologize for the manner of my feet. Uh, for the manner of my thieves. I suppose a thieves guild must keep a measure. Of, oh God, must keep a measure of malice about it. But it does tend to put a cloud over interactions. I am Altos Feinbold, though I think you not to mention that too often. You are a scion, of course. Be not surprised. There are a few people in Baldur's Gate I cannot name. There are few, very few people in Baldur's Gate I cannot name. You have been here for only a few days, and you already have made quite, uh, made quite a stir. So, yeah, for, for the I'm going to pick the last one because for the, I understand he's a guild leader. A thieves guild leader, but hey, it's a guild. It's, it's quite an honor having one such as yourself interested in my travels. Oh, please save your integration. In, in. So, what's oh. up? Hey, man. How you doing? Doing alright. And you join in the middle of big old text block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, save your ingrating in in remarks for another time. They are far too good to be wasted on me. In truth, you have never heard of me, and I care not a whit where you go from here. While in this city, however, you become my concern. In fact, I would like to take adv advantage of your talents for a small job. Something best accomplished by someone unknown in this city. I'm not sure that. I'm sure that. Uh, 
Mm, I'm quite sure that that the membership of a thieves guild would include several people capable of whatever you ask. Danger of being recognized seems minor concern if one is able to not be seen at all. Why do you need me? Shrewd, very shrewd. I do indeed have many fine individuals of, a, of exceptional skill, but a large number of them are on vacation. Well, yeah, that's... That's, that's, that's a little fishy now, ain't it? Oh, in the garrison. Okay. If I if I had read a three words more before commenting. <laughs> the guards have been exceptionally vigilant with, uh, what with the banditry on the roads. And to their credit, they've captured several of my best people. I'm, I am sure that... In the history of guilds, we are the first to experience a shortage of thieves. <laughs> and a shortage of members, too, apparently. Uh, what exactly is it that you would have me do? And what would you ha would my reward be for your this service? How well can you afford to pay? Oh, God. Now, that's a big text block. It's quite a bit of intrigue, actually. A local wizard by the name of... Shandalar makes his home in a moor, in a moored Halvoran skyship. It would appear that he has the knowledge to reproduce these flying marvels, and it and is currently organizing the sale of the receipts to Grand du Duchess Ia. Gen uh, Jeneth, he has drawn up a set of rituals and is pro and has produced an artifact fragment. And an ancient... Okay, what is it that he needs? Simple enough, you would be well... Okay, you have to... You are to infiltrate the place. They've exchanged all the ingredients and return here with them. Simple enough, you would be well paid. Enough gold to give you a, a backache. And if I am well pleased, mayhaps a magical weapon or two. Perhaps a little more, perhaps a little less. It's entirely dependent on your performance. Seems fairly straightforward. A bit of burglary and well within my ability. I accept this challenge. I hope it will increase my standing within the guild. As it should be. Now that you have agreed to facilitate the guild. Okay, so basically go to a place, steal a thing, come back. And how much you want to bet that's going to reduce my reputation. Which is what I need, because one of my followers is pretty mad at me because I've been doing too, doing too much good. <sighs> and done with the freaking text lock. Wow. There was no way in hell I was going to read all that out loud. I don't know if it was you or me, but you sounded pretty robotic there for a minute. Oh. Well, damn. At least on Discord. Yeah, Discord has a habit of doing that. It might just be the Discord servers. Oh. Quite possibly. Ooh, I can just go right through the middle of the town. Okay, didn't know that was a thing. So you're just still just working on your uh, new Guild Wars 2 character, eh? I'm still trying to get Ascended stuff on it. Ah. Ooh, damn. They actually have a freaking Disney castle in this town. <laughs> Don't say that too loud. The mouse <laughs> will molest you in your sleep. I'm just saying because the freaking building that I just passed looked like something out of Disney. Well, not not out of Disney, but out of knockoff, off-brand Disney wannabe. <laughs> so, Daphne. <laughs> 
that neat because it's not Disney. <laughs> uh, where the hell am I supposed to go? supposed to go? I need to find the Hall of Wonders and steal a telescope from it. Why is the Hall of Wonders sound like an innuendo? window? <laughs> Maybe because they they had something similar in uh, name in South Park. The f f what was that the name of an episode? The, the, the one with the freaking hamster. Yeah. Uh, it that one. <laughs> Yeah, South Park has some disturbing episodes. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know where my characters are going because I can't see where where they are. Just I can see them through the freaking roof of a building. But that is it. This... Why would they not cut away the freaking building? There are... Did this house is rotten off with tendons? You see the house? So that you ask questions. <laughs> Make fast home. Hmm. Hello there, Dunn, ex-merchant, at your service. How may I be of assistance? Um, sir? I did not ask for your assistance. He just walked up to me and started talking to me for no apparent reason. Uh, <laughs> exactly. That, he, he, apparently he's been working in a shop far too long. Hello, ma'am. Why do you need some assistance? No, I'm just shopping. Farewell, ma'am. Hello, sir. Might I be of assistance? Uh, <laughs> uh, how exactly does one become an ex-merchant? Well, you start by becoming a merchant. Then you become a gambler. Then you bet your business on a game of dice. Then you lose. Voila! An ex-merchant! Next question? Well, it makes sense. You can't argue that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Eh, don't be. It's given me a whole new lease on life. I swear, I'm light and free as, well, broken wind. Broken the wind. You know what would be like, a great response to that? It's given me a whole new lease on life. No, really, I'm leasing my own life now. <laughs> I owe that much. See? Look at me fly! Yeesh. Y you know the sad thing? I bet two of my characters could fit into his clothing at the same time. Both at the same time. <laughs> He's that big. He should not be flying. That, <laughs> that would be a real health hazard if his arms tire. <laughs> the both buildings and people. And metal objects. <laughs> Playing sumo. <laughs> Sequel to the <laughs> <Fine Nuns. laughs> Oh, and yet another NPC just walks up to me. Uh, too many quests. My name is Farsi, and I have heard you are sometimes you sometimes help those in need for for for, uh, for a fee, of course. Please, would you meet with my guardian at his house? My guardian will reveal the nature of the job once we arrive. Please, it's a matter of life or death. Uh, prove your intention. I want gold up front before I take a step in your direction. Eh, yeah, gold. I have not died for now, but my guardian will arrange payment of a handsome fee, I'm sure. Please, do I have to trust my good intention? Eh... Uh. Fine, whatever. 
No, excellent. I may yet repair the damage I've caused. This way, I'll show you to the house of my master is staying. Okay, let me guess. This house right next to where you spoke with me? Yep, and I am ignoring you. Lead on, You're good sir. <laughs> Lead on, good sir. You go that way, I'll go the other way. <laughs> Where the hell is this place that I'm supposed to find? We can set the West District. Oh, well, I just realized how long I've been recording. Shit. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Have you heard? The question on declaring war on Arm is being put before the Duke's Council. Well, have you heard about the word? <sighs> I don't know. What do you think their decision will be? The Dukes are too set in their ways, too comfortable there. This is all just part of their cat and mouse game with Om, to negotiate a better deal on the iron trade. Still, the suggestion of war has only been that until now, a suggestion, not that an eventuality brought upon the table to be considered. Huh, okay. Ooh, okay, this place is gated off. Might this be where I need to go? Helm and Cloak. That is not where I need to go. Damn. Come on, game. So is this the game that has the dude that yells by Helm's ball sack or something like that? Yep. This is the game with the NPC that I've... Been, the character that I've been making fun of for quite a while. Helm! <sighs> Helm! Helm, give me strength. <laughs> but yeah, I. I'll give you strength while you're gonna headbutt some. <laughs> but yeah, I kicked him out of my party because, yes, it was funny to make to make jokes about it, but he was actually getting on my nerves. And I actually have an NPC that, um, not. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. Been working on my cosplay like crazy. Cool. What's okay, could this be the building that I need to find? No, this isn't in. Is it? Oh. Baldur's Gate. Streaming it. I'm uh, glad to make your acquaintance here, but golly, that might be the need of. Please just play with the guy. Keep it He says he wants to hear about a hundred thousand times, so <laughs> please repeat it to him. <laughs> Okay, I have no interest in speaking with this NPC. But yes, and I <sighs> earlier, well, not earlier, but yes, uh, yesterday, right after, right at, about the about the time that I finished the stream, I kicked the guy out of my party because, well, like like I just told Froggy, it was funny to make. To make jokes about it, he was actually getting on my nerves, because every time I selected him or gave him a, or gave him a command or something, it, he would always make the same stupid set of lines. And yeah, I have an evil, I have an evil character in my party, and for what I understand, eventually. He attacks any evil person in the party. So, didn't want that to happen with my only healer being the evil character. So, admittedly, the my only healer is also one of my better tanks, which still does not make sense to me. If you need to ask Helm. <sighs> Maybe Th Helm knows. Though it is sort of sad how apparently in D&D &D the Dark Elves are basically one of the more hated races. 
so what's up to? Nothing much. I believe she just told you uh -huh. something like working on cosplay. Which I'm still doing, by the way. Ah! Silver Shield Estate. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Maybe, maybe southwest? Maybe this is it. This does not look like a hole, though. I'm working on lowering my character's reputation, that way I don't become a target for basically all the good characters, and I still have the option to have evil characters in my party. If you want to lower your reputation, just make a bunch of bad puns. <sighs> I don't think he needs to by now, Froggy. I think his reputation is pretty low. <laughs> oh, okay. This is the wall that I was thinking of when I went counterclockwise. Because Blake's not giving a damn about his reputation. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where's, what, what, what the fuck does the wiki say about it? Uh, what? What's the area of bullet cake? That's about right. Wait, this is showing where I just was. Um... Hang on. Oh! Wait, no, that's... Oh, hello! There's, there's a hidden door here! Screw you, game. Screw you! Hail and well met, stranger. I take it you're of the adventuring sort. I would tell you the moment I saw you. You do not have the mechanical hands for the fops. We usually get through here. But I have a moment or two of your time. Uh, what does you want of me? Well, I'll tell you. I am a bard, and a soon-to-be great bard, I might add. All I really need is some good material for song or two. Okay, so... What? 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 Exactly. He's reading text line. Yeah. It sounds really cheap, by the way. Um, Sam, you have to remember this game was made in the time... In the era of DOS. So, yeah. Uh, seems how you're... You have the master skills. That was so daring. Daring do. <laughs> wow. Who, who who even uses that phrase anymore? I need to put the safety details off of you. I can always make something up, but this thing's never ring true. Uh, about to travel and learn. Why don't you go and find it? Uh, for the right price, I might consider it. This is a crest. What if I paid you 200 gold for each idea? Uh, what if I sent you your own stories? Why don't you find your own stories? Uh, be because it's dangerous. <laughs> I, be I became a bard for the easy work and prestige among certain female members of my society set. Not because I wanted to chase vermin down the dungeon holes. <laughs> uh, tell, tell. Yeah. Yeah. He wants all the fame and none of the work. That's <laughs> <laughs> not to the conviction of the adventuring cleric or how good people might fight for it. Wow. This gives me a Big old text block for my responses. 
Uh, what do you? How you? I could relate. How how could I have been get people struck down unjustly? Or the strength of a character in common farmer, perhaps an ode to conviction of the adventuring cleric, or how good people fight for what is right in the face of incredible odds. What say you? Hmm. This condition and strength of spirit, I have no clue where to start telling a tale about that. If I were an adventurer, I can. I can't write about things I don't understand. As it is, I'm sure it, it's someone else's fault. I don't think you'll be much use to me after all. <laughs> Lovely. And just watch. Just watch. Later in the game, he's going to come up to... Uh, I'm going to find him singing about what I just suggested to him. And then I'm going to have to kill him. I have an evil character on my team. Seriously. What? What's so evil about your <laughs> Well, my healer, who's also my tank, is... Ca oh, wait, is it... Is it ca uh, uh, neutral evil. Okay. But yeah. Why have they ever done that to you? Well... Game lore wise, all dark elves are evil. <laughs> Though my character. That's racist. <laughs> Though my character is half elf and true neutral. Which I find amusing. But then again, all druid. True neutral. But. Neutered? Wait, what the hell? Everlight. Hello. Oh, that must be what I'm. <sighs> and yet another NPC comes Remember up and talks to me unsolicited. <sighs> and this character has a squeaky voice. Oh god, this is gonna be annoying. Uh... Yeah, you can do squeaky voice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kitty. Cacophony. You I no <laughs> Okay, wow, this, this, in, I, I'm reading through it just ahead of what I'm saying, and holy shit, she sounds like someone out of, uh, like, I don't know, the 60s? Uh, you scared the bejeepers out of me. Surely it's your job to catch us fevers. Fevers? Ugh. But you You're need... That right. Uh, T-H-I-E-V-E-R-S. How else would you pronounce that? But he need not give me a heart attack, too. Hey, you're not a guard. He get me all in a tizzy when you're here for the same thing as me. Well, <laughs> yeah, seriously. This character has an icon, so I'm assuming that you can put her in your party. And with the way that she talks in the text... I'm going to be saying no thank you. Uh nice to meet you so I take you don't want to jump the jive and then wail. This is in a thief so easily caught. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna throw away. I have no interest in a thief so easily caught. Off with you. Well, there's no need to be rude about it. There was Never meet nice people. Yeah. You're banned from doing a female voice ever. <laughs> just stop. Just stop. Just well, stop. honestly, no. honestly, I'm only half trying. Uh, no one of these oh, people God. hate thieves. No one of these people hate thieves. Well, we steal stuff too, but being jerks doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's Pump of Gond. Uh, Part of me now feels that he's fully trying. <laughs> what the hell is this? Um. Okay, I'm gonna save right here. And. I hope that whatever I'm opening. isn't a trap.
Holy shit, that's exactly what I needed to... F wow. Uh, Gordon's Leonardo... Really? 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 Gondman Leonardo's Helitric Aerial Wonder. Um... It's a freaking helicopter. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna tr I'm gonna turn this quest in, and then end the recording. Because I bet it's almost up to two hours now. Holy shit! Okay. So uh, oh, okay. It pops me right out. It pops me out right at the exit of the map. Cool. All right. So he was over here. And the place still hasn't closed their doors since I left. <laughs> uh, don't forget that clerics can turn in and possibly destroy undead shadows, wraiths, mummies. Okay. Sort of wish I could turn off these little tips, because they're starting to recycle themselves. And once again, I am not doing this guy's voice. Hello again, my roguish compatriots. I, I heard this morning that there was a mysterious break-in at the Hall of Wonders. It said that a that the crafty burglars were uh, in like ghosts and gone before the guards even had a chance to yell halt. Oh, it's like an adventure tale starring you and me. When he does nothing! You are well worth the pay, my friend. Well worth it. Here's the 500 gold and a beautiful little trinket for my own personal collection. It's a sorrow to, point, uh, to part with it, but this is more than makes up for it. Goodbye and good fortune. Oh, is that a sword? What the hell? No, no. What the hell? Oh, wait. Oh. Seriously. So. My. Uh, the, the current party leader has his inventory full. And. Before you ask, he has a very stupid name. I couldn't. I can't name these characters. I can only name the characters that I make. My my tank slash fighter is called Yeslick. <laughs> is that a name generator they use? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just a dwarven name. <laughs> I don't know. So, but yeah, his inventory is full when I finish the quest. So he decided to throw on the ground his great sword, Spider's Bane. Ugh. For a second there, I thought the quest gave me Spider's Bane, not an unidentified wand. Ugh. Let's identify that. Wand of Lightning. Oh, lovely. Now I have, now I have a wand of Fireball, a wand of... Uh, Frost and a wand of lightning. Yeah. Wait. Where's the wand of fireball? <laughs> oh yeah, I had it on Clid. Or Caleb. Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. That thing was sort of shitty anyway. <sighs> All right. So. Hmm. I guess I could switch games if you guys want to do something. If you guys want to do something, and and uh, then what? I have to go. Ah, go clean. Okay. Mm.